this is old mates, backyard tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. Yesterday for weekend Saturdays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, I was hoping to do a two part video series with a follow up to the other half's automatic transmission issue that she's been having. See, of late she's been saying it's just not running right. And yesterday we saw that it was very low on ATF, but not low enough that it couldn't lock in a gear. Now, I was going to get part two out yesterday morning. However, just as I'd finished uploading part one, the other half came tearing down the stairs and said she had to go to work. Well, for part two of, uh, of this video series, last night we had to make a snap decision. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Part two of the other half's auto trans issue. Um, suffice to say, this is going to be a quick video, guys. Um, I put ATF in it uh, yesterday and it drove all right to work and it drove semi all right home. The snap decision we've had to make is tomorrow morning, early doors, I am booking her car into a reputable automatic transmission service center here in Geelong to get the trans serviced and or looked at. Um, now, I know what's, I can pick this from a mile away because the know-it-all experts are gonna howl on me for this. I don't know Mitsubishi Autos at all. I have no idea about them because I've never had an, an automatic, I've never had a Mitsubishi with an automatic gearbox. So I know nothing about them when compared to Trimatic, Turbo 700, 4L60E or A442F. So the, the know-it-all experts are gonna howl on me for not knowing the Mitsubishi automatics. They always do, you know. So we had to make a snap decision last night when she got back from work that it's gotta go and get the auto looked at where the theory is she's either losing ATF from a hose somewhere that I can't see or it's weeping out uh, either the drive shaft seals or into the bell housing or something. We're not sure. But it drove beautifully to work and then coming back, it drove all right. So we made a snap decision last night. We're booking it in early doors tomorrow morning. I know the automatic transmission company to send it to down here. They have a very good write-up. They have very, they're very good. Their CSR is excellent. Um, they don't rip you off, which is a rarity these days. Um, so we're going to get the auto looked at. Um, I'm just not good enough with Mitsubishi autos. Hey, watch the know-it-all experts comment. I guarantee you, watch them comment. How can I, I can see it now. How can you not know the ins and outs of a Mitsubishi Auto? The answer's simple. I've never dealt with a Mitsubishi Auto. Especially if what I think is right and that's an Invex Auto, I don't understand them. So I don't believe it's the Invex 2 Learning Auto. I could be wrong. I think it's an Invex 1. But again, I'm not sure. So we're going to take it to an auto. See, if it was my car, I'd do it myself. But I don't understand this car. So we're going to book it into an ATF, or an ATF service center, an automatic transmission fluid service center. No, we're not. We're going to book it into an automatic transmission service center and get them to service it. Um, and if we've got to replace, you know, drive seals or gaskets or hoses, then we'll get it done. But that car, I've said this before, that's the other half's car. I need it to work. 
I needed to be safe and I needed to be reliable. From an engine point of view, it is reliable, but this transmission gremlin is causing her um, she's a little worried is all I'm going to say. Now, those of you who know the other half um, will understand what I mean. She needs the car to be reliable and she needs the car to work properly. And as I said, the engine itself is fine. The brakes are fine. The air conditioner is fine. Everything's good. The auto is a bit of an issue and she's starting to get a little worried with it and I don't want her worrying. If it was my car, eh, whatever. This is her car. So we're going to book it into a transmission company and get them to do it because I'm just... The Invex autos with Mitsubishis I've never worked on. Now, I know two of the know-it-all experts out there will say, well, it's exactly the same as an A442F. No, it's not. Even I know it's different because you're talking about an automatic transmission that's 10 years newer than mine. So there we go. Stick around. So that's the follow-up. We're going to book it into a automatic transmission place. <coughs> Excuse me. I know the company already. They have a good reputation down here um, for both price, quality, follow-up, warranty, the whole lot. So there we go. Anyway, there we are. The other half's car. We'll let you know what happens about, about it later in the week. Stick around, though. We've got some pro audio rewiring to do here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Have a good one.